Hello friends and welcome back to Rachel's Baking Corner. Today we will be making lavender lemon bars. So think of your classic sweet and sour lemon bars with that flaky delicious crust but with a little bit of a floral herbaceous lavender flavor. I honestly have no idea how this is going to taste but I am not one to shy away from something a little different on a classic recipe and I love lavender. I love the floral smell. I went ahead and got some edible lavender from the store. You would not just use something that you would pick up at Walmart. You want to make sure it is edible grade lavender. I think the flowers are a little different. Um, and we're gonna whip this up and get it together. It seems like a pretty easy recipe, but it does have about a two-step baking process. So without further ado, let's chat ingredients, tools, order of operations, and we will get to bacon. All right. So when it comes to the ingredients of the lemon bars, let's chat the crust first. So one of the primary ingredients throughout this recipe is a lavender sugar. We are going to make the lavender sugar. That is basically three and a fourth cup of granulated sugar with two tablespoons of the edible grade lavender that we're gonna whiz up in our food processor to break up the flowers, extract some of the oils and make a flavorful sugar for the ingredient of the sugar, okay? <laughs> so for the crust, we are going to need two cups of all-purpose flour, which I have here a half of a cup of our lavender sugar, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and two sticks of butter melted and then cooled down to room temperature, a half a teaspoon of salt. Then for our filling, we need eight large eggs. I have already cracked them and put them in my bowl here. One and a fourth cup of lemon juice, freshly squeezed if you could, it's best. <laughs> Another two and three quarters cup of the lavender sugar, which should be the total of the lavender sugar we've made. The zest of two lemons, a half of a cup of all-purpose flour, and then we're gonna use a little bit of powdered sugar on top to dust on top to make them look pretty. I might toss in a little bit of lavender in there too, just because I wanna pop purple. <laughs> When it comes to tools, you're gonna to need your baking sheet. Uh, typically with lemon bars, you use a square sheet. I think this is like an eight by something, typical square brownie pan. Um, I'm not sure what other options you could use. That's what I'm gonna be using today. Food processor. And honestly, we're just gonna use a whisk and a mixing bowl to take care of assembling all the ingredients. I'm gonna grease this up and put a parchment paper at the bottom of it, and then we will get on with the assembly. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay, let's begin with making this lavender sugar. So I have my food processor here. I'm going to take my lavender flowers and put them in. I'm gonna close this up, and we're gonna just give this a whirl for about a 10 to 15 seconds to just break up the lavender flowers first, okay? It's gonna be a little loud. My blade is too high. It's not even touching them. <laughs> uh, what do I do? <laughs> we'll just add the sugar in and hope that that breaks them up okay. All right, let's just start with a, a cup. According to the recipe, it's a little more than a cup, but that's okay. And let's see if that grabs the lavender and gets it moving around a little bit. Start on low. Let's try it on high. It's not really breaking the lavender up all that great. Yeah, the lavender is like whole. I'm going to sift the sugar to get the lavender out. I'm going to put my lavender in a mortar and pestle and I will break it up manually. And then we will go back to the food processor. <laughs> Do that. <laughs> Okay, so I have my lavender ground up. I went ahead and just used my good old-fashioned mortar and pestle. Um, that was a little bit more work than I was expecting. So my blades don't hit the lavender. It's too small of a quantity. So if you plan on making this recipe at home, you could try and see if your food processor will work. But um, 
You may just want to go ahead and get prepared to grind it up. Maybe use a coffee grinder, mortar and pestle, something like that. But um, did not work for me. <laughs> a little disappointing, but that's okay. All right, so now we're gonna whip this up 15 to 20 seconds. I don't really see it bringing, breaking the lavender up any more than I already have, so I'm gonna just add the rest of the sugar. And give it a whirl. And turn that off. We're gonna take it off the machine. It smells fantastic. So we have our lavender sugar. It's kind of a grayish color. Let's make our crust. So let's get a half of a cup of our freshly made lavender sugar. Put it in our mixing bowl. Our melted butter that has cooled down to room temperature. Vanilla, two teaspoons, I just eyeball it. And our salt. I'm gonna use a whisk to whisk this together. So I'm whisking the butter and the sugar together for it to kind of melt a little bit. So to the butter, lavender, sugar, vanilla, and salt, we're gonna add our smaller amount of flour, which was shoot, shoot. I did that wrong, shoot. I'm incorrect. I meant to say the two cups of flour goes into this, not the smaller amount, which is a half of a cup. Two cups of flour into this because we are making a crust after all. Now it says to use your spatula to form this dough, but I'm gonna start with my whisk just so that I don't have any major clumps of flour. And then when it gets to be too difficult to work with, I'll switch, which is right about now. Okay, now I have my rubber spatula. Just gonna kinda mix it around till all the flour is hydrated. Okay, so once all that flour is absorbed, we're gonna get our pan. I've got my square pan. I went ahead and greased it and lined it with parchment paper on one side. That way when it's time to pull it out, I can just lift it by the parchment paper. We're gonna pour all of our crust in here. And we're just gonna smush it down to the bottom of this pan. Just gonna use my spatula to do it. Here's our crust. Smells great, smells like butter and sugar. Not even really all that much like lavender. <sighs> but it looks great. We are gonna put this in a 350 degree oven and we're gonna bake it for 25 to 30 minutes until it's golden brown. And then I will go into more detail of the next steps after we've made the filling, because it's a little complicated, but not really. <laughs> Let's get this in the oven. Okay, so I just put my crust in the oven. Let's make the filling. So first thing, let's get our eight eggs into our mixing bowl. And let's break up all of those yolks. And just give that a quick whip. Next, we're gonna slowly stream in our lemon juice, just so that it incorporates well. Lavender sugar. All the rest of it, maybe? How much? So the next amount of lavender sugar is two and three-fourths of a cup. Just in case I made too much, I'm gonna remeasure it. So yeah, there's a little extra lavender sugar that I needed, so I'm glad I remeasured that. So we're just gonna slowly mix that in with these eggs here. It's a lot of sugar, it's a lot of sugar. Then we're gonna add our zest of two lemons. It's a very weird color. It's kind of brown, <laughs> like a weird mustardy color. And then our half of a cup of flour. So 
So let's chat how we're gonna bake this. So our crust is in the oven right now, baking for about 25 to 30 minutes until the crust is fully baked. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the crust out. I mean, it says to not even pull it out of the oven all the way and to pour the filling in. Here, let me just quote it for you specifically. When the crust is done baking, slide the rack part way out of the oven, pour the filling over the hot crust, and then slide it back into the oven. That sounds like an accident waiting to happen, and I don't think that's necessary. I think you can pull that sucker out of the oven, close the oven, let it stay nice and hot, pour the filling on top, put it back in the oven, and save yourself an injury from burning yourself or spilling it or t dropping it. I just don't think that's necessary. So we're gonna bake the crust, we're gonna pull it out, we're gonna pour this really wet filling on top, and then it bakes for another 25 to 30 minutes. And then we have to let it cool completely and then chill fully to set. So it might be nighttime when, when I finally present these and taste them because they do take a little while to fully chill and set. I have done lemon bars many times before and I've tried tasting them sooner than they're supposed to and it's just not, you gotta wait, they gotta chill, so. So I'll see you in a second. We'll pour this in and then let them bake, let them cool, and then we're gonna cut and taste. Yeah. All right, here we are. As you can tell, it's nighttime, just like I said. I've already had my dinner, and this has been chilling for a little while. So it is finally ready to pull out, cut, and taste. So I left the parchment paper like this so that it should be easy to pull out. I think you can tell from the close-ups that I did. The reason why they want you to pull it out on the rack halfway, pour it, and then just push it back in is because it does fill up very full with this recipe when you push it back in. It was very scary for me to pick it up and move it. So I do understand that method. With my little toaster oven, as you could see from me putting it in there, that was not gonna be a safe adventure. In your big oven, I totally could understand because that big rack does pull out enough that you could do that. It was just, it was risky regardless. So without further ado though, this is like that, so hopefully I can pull it out. I use just a flat spatula to just kind of cut around the sides to just try to hopefully loosen it from the pan. We'll see. I'm a little nervous about it. I'm gonna kind of pull from all these corners here so that it all comes up at the same time. Oh, so far it's just very heavy, but so far so good. There we go, it's just sticky. I'm gonna move my pan to the side. Wow. Very heavy. Okay, but we did it. That's a lot of crust. That's a lot of crust for a lemon bar. Oh well, we'll see how it is. So I have my little mini sieve and some powdered sugar. Just gonna put some powdered sugar in here. Go up kinda high and tap the sieve gently to evenly distribute some powdered sugar. It's kind of ugly, <laughs> this lemon bar, because that lavender kind of turned it like this weird brownish color. Oh, and mine definitely took longer than 30 minutes to bake. Mine was real jiggly, and it said to tap on it, and when it barely jiggles, it's ready. And mine took at least 48 minutes to fully cook. Lemon bars are kind of hard to tell when they're ready. How do I want to do this? Let's start like this. Ooh.
just going to use, I mean a warm wet washcloth would probably work better, but I'm just going to use a paper towel to just kind of wipe the excess lemon off for each slice just so it doesn't get all over the place. Okay, let's just cut one for right now to taste. <laughs> that crust is thick. Good gracious. That's a monster. I don't know you guys. That is a thick, that is half crust, half lemon bar. And it's dripping. Oh no. I mean, it's cool. Either way, let me come around and we'll try it. I might need a plate, hold on. That is all crust and then that's lemon bar. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't feel like that's right. I don't feel like that's correct, but, and it's very, again, it's probably gonna set more, oh gosh, you can tell. Very gushy. I will leave a little thing right here. Did it set the next day? Mm -hmm. I might even wait to finish cutting them until tomorrow. Okay, that's so much crust, jeez. All right, well, let's try it. Enough jib jab. Jeez, I feel like lemon bar you're supposed to be able to pick up and just eat like a brownie. But this is like a lot of crust. <laughs> I just inhaled powdered sugar. Well, I mean it tastes really good. That lavender is not overpowering. It tastes good. It's lemony, it's sour, it's puckery, it's sweet. The crust tastes good. It has a nice crumble to it. It breaks down really easily. It chews really well. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> I mean, it's gonna be a hit, but I don't know how I feel about that crust being so thick. Maybe I used the wrong size pan. That's a very possible thing. I could have used a pan that was too small. So I'm gonna take fault on that because I don't think I even looked at what size pan it was. I just assumed lemon bars due to my square pan, so that could be my fault. Either way, tastes good. All right, well, that is it for me. I am excited to get in my pajamas and relax on my couch and play some Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I definitely wouldn't say don't try this recipe, try it, it's good. The lavender and the lemon's great. Just use a bigger pan. That's why I like making these videos is I like to try these things and show you that you don't have to be a five-star baker. You don't have to be a well-trained baker to still make really delicious stuff. And you live and learn, you know? So that's just how it goes. So thanks again for watching. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Please like this video, comment down below recipes you'd like to see me try. Subscribe, maybe, possibly. And I will see you very soon in my next video. Thank you, I love you, Mwah. goodbye.